any way that the human kind, uh, the human race, might have been split up so that you could get different combinations of information in, in, in separate groups, and yet we're all still the one race, we're all still the one kind. Does anyone have an idea? The Tower of Babel. Exactly. Now, start to think that through, and we'll do that in more detail uh, in a future program. You know, it's very, very important to understand these things, because, you see, when we start with the Bible and put on our biblical glasses, and we start with the Bible as a history book, because that's what I call the Bible, the history book of the universe, and when we put on our uh, biblical glasses and look at the world, it makes a big difference if you consider that all human beings are related and we all go back to one man. Doesn't that make a big difference? Because that means we're all equal, doesn't it? But you see, if you believe in the evolutionary view, and you believe that one kind of animal changed into another, ape-like creatures turned into people, and therefore some humans were closer to apes than others, you could understand how people might look down on some particular people groups because they were considered, well, they're closer to the apes than others, and, and you could understand how racist attitudes could develop. And you know, that's exactly what's happened in our world. And we're going to talk about that too. You see, when you start with the Bible, the foundation of God's Word, then we have an understanding there's one race of people. Just one race. We all go back to Adam and Eve. We understand uh, those other things that we've talked about in the other programs. We understand the basis for right, or, right and wrong. We understand uh, the difference between good and evil. We understand that marriage is one man for one woman for life and so on. But if you start from an evolutionary foundation, that man is just an animal evolved over millions of years and so on, then there are different races of people. And you see, evolution inherently is a racist philosophy. And so some are closer to the apes than others. And it has caused people to look down on certain people and to treat them in, in the wrong way. Now, by the way, I'm not saying that there was uh, no racism before evolution. There, there have always been racist attitudes when people do not build their thinking on the Bible. And we need to make sure that we build our thinking on the Bible so that we develop a Christian worldview and then look at the world through our biblical glasses. And that's what we're going to do in some other programs here. We're going to be looking at the world through our biblical glasses so that we have the right understanding of who we are, the right understanding of our fellow man. In fact, think about this. Think about the application. Why do we take the gospel message to tribes and nations all around the world? Why does God tell us to go out and preach the gospel to every tribe and nation? You know why? Because we're all related, because we're all descendants of Adam, because we all go back to Adam and Eve. But what we need to do is to explain, well, how come you've got people who are Chinese and people with black skin and people with middle brown skin and people with light skin and, and how come you've got people who've got arm and eye shape and, and so on? How do you explain that? It's very, very simple. And we're going to do that uh, in a future program. I'd really uh, recommend to you a couple of books to understand this whole issue of uh, natural selection. I'd recommend a book by Dr. Carl Whelan called Stones and Bones, where he, he, he looks at this in a little bit more detail, and you can read this over to help us understand speciation and help us understand some basic genetics. Very, very important for us to do so, so we can give reasons to people, answers for what we believe. And another book, uh, Dr. Gary Parker's book, Creation, The Facts of Life. Uh, he also deals with this issue of natural selection. He's a professor in biology, a professor at a Christian college, and uh, he deals with uh, biology uh, from a creationist perspective. And he used to be an ardent evolutionist, so he knows how evolutionists think. And so he's able to explain these things to you so you can defend the Christian faith. Thank you very much.